Hey y'all, it's Miss Coburn. So this book is the book we did in our Music Monday Zoom lesson today. It's titled Fortunately, and it is written and illustrated by Remy Charlotte. Now, I know we just read this book together, but this video is going to have some added sound effects. So let's get started. <laughs> Fortunately, one day, Ned got a letter that said, Please come to a surprise party. But unfortunately, the party was in Florida and he was in New York. Fortunately, a friend had loaned him an airplane. Unfortunately, the motor exploded. Fortunately, there was a parachute in the airplane. Unfortunately, there was a hole in the parachute. Fortunately, there was a haystack on the ground. Unfortunately, there was a pitchfork in the haystack. Fortunately, he missed the pitchfork. Unfortunately, he missed the haystack. Fortunately, he landed in water. Unfortunately, there were sharks in the water. Fortunately, he could swim. Unfortunately, there were tigers on the land. Fortunately, he could run. Unfortunately, he ran into a deep, dark cave. Fortunately, he could dig. Unfortunately, he dug himself into a fancy ballroom. Fortunately, there was a surprise party going on. And fortunately, the party was for him. Because, fortunately, it was his birthday. The End that book is one of my favorites because it shows us we never know what's going to happen next and that things that happen can be fortunate and unfortunate at the same time. Like today, how it was so rainy outside. It was unfortunate that we didn't get to go outside and play, but it was also kind of fortunate because I got to stay inside and watch movies all day. Like I watched Space Jam today. It was really good. Um, so I know that this situation right now with us being out of school seems unfortunate. And it is unfortunate that we don't get to see each other every day. But there are some fortunate things about it too. Like you can stay in your pajamas all day. Like I'm in my pajamas right now while I'm doing this video. Um, you don't have to worry about your hair every day. Um, you get to see your families more. And like one person said, you could even eat ice cream for breakfast. As long as your parents say it's okay. But you could have ice cream. So I know times are a little scary right now. And it's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But we have to remember there are some fortunate things with this. Um, and we know that this is showing us what's important. Right? We know that staying healthy is way more important than school is. Always. And taking care of ourselves and our families is more important. It's kind of like our key values in our classroom. Our first one is taking care of ourselves. And the second one is taking care of others. So we have to do that even if it means we have to spend some time apart. 
So I appreciate all of you that are doing that and doing your part and taking care of yourself and taking care of others. So even though we are apart, I'm here for you. That's why we have this page. So I can still share things with you and you can message me and share things with me. So while we are apart, I want you to remember I love you and I miss you. And I can't wait to see you guys again. So keep taking care of yourselves and taking care of others. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.